Many times, a defect in a car will not show up until it has been driven for a while. If you believe your car is defective or that certain repairs need to be made, follow this procedure. First, re-examine your warranty terms. The warranty will describe in detail your rights and those of the dealer and the manufacturer. Sometimes dealers and manufacturers disagree on who has the responsibility to make a particular repair, and you may need to remind them what the warranty says. Second, give the dealer a chance to correct the problem. Explain what is wrong with the car as in much detail as you can, but do not make assumptions about what is mechanically wrong unless you are sure you understand the problem. Do not act with anger or hostility. Just ask the dealer what he will do to fix the car and when it will be finished. Third, keep a record of everything. This includes repair invoices, labor statements, letters, and even old parts when practical. Be able to show all of your efforts to get your car repaired and your complaint resolved. Fourth, use the informal dispute resolution procedures that are available. These procedures are a special type of arbitration used to help resolve car problems. Check the phone book to see if your city has a better business bureau to help you resolve complaints. Call the South Carolina Department of Consumer Affairs. The telephone number is 803-734-4200 in the Columbia area or 1-800-922-1594 for other parts of the state. These organizations may be able to help resolve your complaint to your satisfaction. Fifth, try a consumer action board. This board is another type of arbitration procedure. Your new car warranty should contain a toll-free number for contacting the Consumer Appeals Board to help settle disputes for your particular car. Such a board may be made up of a single arbitrator or a panel of three or more arbitrators. That is, they cannot work for the dealer or manufacturer. If the Appeals Board rules in your favor, the ruling may be binding on the dealer but if it rules against you, it is not binding on you. However, you may be required to use such a board before you can pursue your other legal rights, so read your warranty information carefully. Sixth, if necessary, consult a private attorney. Even if none of the above steps solves your problem, you may still have legal rights that can be used. If the dealership refuses to or cannot repair the car, the dealer or the manufacturer may have violated the written warranty. The defect may also amount to a breach of the warranties implied under the law. Also, the salesman and the dealership may have defrauded you, or the defect may be caused by a misrepresentation about the condition of the car or an understatement of the car's actual mileage because the odometer has been tampered with. Your attorney can help you understand your legal options, but you will need to discuss the practical side of pursuing your remedies. Sometimes it's not worthwhile to pursue a legal remedy you may have, especially when your recovery will not exceed the expected costs. So you should discuss this with your attorney.